going on everybody you know we, we still doing these walk arounds you know got another walk around for you right now it's a 2018 volvo uh c uh, what is this xc90 xc90 volvo suv man i'm already digging this interior man i always like how I like cars do this like sports interior like like the sports type seats and then you sit in there comfortably man you know you got the leather with the cloth insert so you know you're not sweat on your back and stuff like that and it's like that front and back you know usually some cars only do it on the front but they got that on the front and back so i really like that you know already man let's take a look let's take a nice walk around of this vehicle man um about time this vehicle come out i will know the price of it, but this vehicle like it got a little sticker in there it says not for sale because they haven't got it fully detailed or stuff i guess i mean it looks fairly detailed to me but i don't know exactly what else they got to do i know the engine bay is not cleaned off and stuff like that so that's probably the next thing they have to do but it's probably on this process and right here it doesn't have an actually push button start how you start you know you put your foot on the brake and you just turn this turn this knob right here you know and that's the little engine start knob you just twist that boom look at that take a look at that interior right. look at that like the little display right there the volvo got the paddle shifter so you know you got the sport type feel to it don't know why you really need paddle shifters on the suv but they're there they're there just just in case let's get that walk around of this beauty look at that thing look at that could, couldn't you see yourself driving it i definitely could volvo is one of those uh brands that people is like it's not one of those it's like one of those brands that a lot of people don't think of off the top of their head of like okay i should go buy a volvo Volvo makes very great, very good cars. They make very long lasting, reliable cars. If you didn't know, Volvo is a great car brand. You know, if you ever see like those big semi trucks and stuff like that, they're Volvo's. Volvo makes a good, reliable vehicle. It just, you know, people just never, as like I said, like the engine, as you can see, like the engine bed is a little dirty. So that's probably one thing they probably got to do, get it up, get it ready for sale. It'll be ready for sale. at the moment you see y'all get y'all get to see the car before before it's even ready for sale let's see okay got the button the, oh look at that the button to push it down xc90 ts5 r design okay volvo i see you upgrade with your looks man look at that already drove it around and got it over here man it drives and rides smooth it's got that nice pearl white with the black wheels i mean with the black black and chrome wheels man it's just it's a nice looking vehicle you know me honestly i never thought about a volvo like when i'm looking when i think about looking at vehicles and stuff like that or if i was looking at a new vehicle volvo would never cross my mind like volvo would have never crossed my mind i just you know happen to see this one out here man it's it's a pretty vehicle, man. Look, let's get close up on it. Look at those lights. Hey, yeah, man. Get close on it, man. Volvo, man. If you didn't know, go check it out, man. It's a nice vehicle, man. It's sunroof. Look at that sunroof out there still like i said interior is clean like you know it's only got 11,463 miles so you know the previous owner don't know if it was like either like a lease vehicle like they leased it for one year or they had it for one year didn't like it or you know payments was too high or something i don't know but, i mean it seems like a great vehicle i mean you know new car still under factory warranty ride and driving good uh one don't understand you know why people go out and give vehicles and give them up but i mean the vehicle's two two years old i mean technically depends on when they bought it because usually like on 2018 they usually come out on a later year of 17 so this vehicle could possibly be three years old so you know they probably had, they might have had it three years never really dropped it just wanted to get rid of it you know either just to save money because you know and basically three years they only got eleven thousand miles that's really no miles put on the vehicle so you know they might have just got rid of it but you know it's got the button right there to press for your lift gate 
you know like i said the interior is nice i like the display screen you know got got the heated seats what is this thing oh got the button to pop out the glove box oh man see your volvo doing your thing still got the owners man you factor warranty it's what is it? okay you can download the app for it the volvo on call app download it through the app store google play or get it from microsoft chrome okay i see your volvo doing your thing what is this uh two seconds i don't know exactly what it is not going to open it but overall man this is a nice vehicle man uh, could i see myself driving this definitely I uh, like because I was looking at all the vehicles out there on the lot and this one just caught my attention I mean, I don't know what about it, man. I could I could definitely see myself driving it I mean, it's a nice room for my kids and stuff like that. Don't know what it's priced at yet You know, it, I don't know. I don't know if, if Volvo's are a very, a very expensive car I mean, but I'm pretty sure they are because they make a nice vehicle and they last a long time So I'm pretty sure the price on this thing is going to be pretty up there You know got the rear view camera the mirrors fold down, you know when you're backing up, you know Rear view camera is always nice. Let's get a little let me, This thing just rides smooth. Look at that. Got so much clearance for the headroom Man, I fit in this car so nice, man Man Oh man, one day one day i'm gonna buy myself a new suv i don't know which one i'm gonna buy myself one one of these days but i mean i could definitely see myself driving this one like i said it's a nice it's a nice vehicle i mean i i don't find i don't have any complaints with it you know i haven't driven it for a long period of time you know like the person who owned it for previously so i don't know but for right now i can see myself going on a long car ride in this thing but man it's a nice vehicle man Throw a little bit of tint on the windows, man, to help it out. But overall, other than that, man, it's nothing else you can really ask for on this vehicle, man. This is a nice vehicle. What kind of drive modes we got? Let me got to press it. Okay, we got an eco comfort. We got an off-road, an individual preference. Let's go with comfort. Want to ride? How do you click it? There you go. Click it. Boom, comfort. That's right. I don't know. I guess we can go comfort. That's my drive for preference. We want to ride comfortable. But you know, appreciate you guys. I appreciate my buddy that Bob Harrod Dodge for giving me the opportunity to check out these vehicles and show you guys these vehicles. We got a lot more vehicles to come. Let me go get a picture of this thing. I didn't get a picture of it. So, but I appreciate you guys. Appreciate all the support. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Let's keep supporting each other. Let's keep growing and a lot video a lot more videos to come. Thank you guys. I'm out. Peace. Peace. Oops. Make sure.